Hi everyone, my name is Ali and this is a tu basic tutorial for basic learning and we're gonna create a tile floor. I'm just gonna render it. This is what we're gonna create and this is a tile floor, basic uh, tile floor created in 3D Max. So we need to reset it and start it from over. Right. Um, this is going to be first of all we need to a plane we need to drag a plane this is going to be our floor so we need to go to modifier option in length we put 300 width we put 300 so we have both in equal size because we need to make tiles on it so we need to click right on it and we click edge faces so we have 4 by 4 edge faces which is good but this is not wide enough for our uh, flow but we can make copies of it to make it more wider in future so uh, we will start work if, if I just render it it will not show anything not even the edge the edges so let's just work on it second thing from modifier list here we add a edit poly and edit poly is going to be just on the top somewhere there you go here once we have the edit poly we we'll select the polygon which is a four one here and then we select the zoom out and we we'll select the whole tile all of it once we've done that we go to the edit polygons options click on inset bring it up the polygon and we make it let's say one should be okay 1.0 or 1.1 or 1 something around it doesn't make any big differences once we've done that we can see there's edges has been done there again but it is not going to show in render so we go to bevel to actually create the tile and in bevel we have three option group local normal by polygons we select the by polygons in height we put it bring it to 2 to 2.2 or 2.3 and if we render it right now you can see the tile has been created now because uh, it's not very um, good looking so we in the outline amount I minus it bring it back to the 8 0 0.8 and render it so you can see this is what we have again it's not very good looking so we, I take it to 1 and there you go uh, that looks much better 1.2 uh, minus 1.2 should be there should be okay in, one in the outline but just um, zoom it a bit so I can see how it looks exactly how it looks so this is what we have um, this is a tile floor um, that we created um, what we can do is we can make a bit bigger the tile it depends how high your tile is going to be so depend how high you want it so close it okay zoom out bring it and at the bottom you see there's the auto smooth button click it, it makes your tile a bit smoother next thing we want to do is um, we want to apply a material to it to make because it's a uh, in is a tile floor but you know you don't see really it's, it, it's, it is a natural tile you don't really see a naturality in it we can work on it by going to but you make sure you have play you selected the plane go to edit material editor apply one material on it once you do that you see it's a gray color tile and things um, which is not good enough what we can do is in here are the colors if you want to put manually different colors so you can put from here but I don't want that I want to go to the fuse option where it says none I'd click on it you have the browser on the bitmap double click bitmap it will take me to my files picture files I want this file to be added onto the floor and 
show us tentative command map view so and show me there you go we have a tile um uh with the symmetry color but if you if you're not happy with the uh, tile height uh, that you cannot really see it you can basically go back to the edit poly and go back to where we just did the work before to the bevel and you can just you know give it some height there you go but I don't want to do that because this um, let's just keep it simple so render it this is what we have right now um, you can do a extra work on it but we, we, you can give some shininess and on the corners and the edge of the tiles and the corners so when do that you go back to the material editor and specular labor make it high up to 90 up to 40 to the glossness and apply to it now should be all right and It depends how you want it so you can see the shyness come into the edges of the tile um, you can make it black or you can make it white so you have shiny on the edges so that's it next thing we do is we go we select the, the edit poly but this time we select them individually to make them just slightly slightly differences up and down, left and right, you know, uh, to to make the tile um, natural that has been used um, over a few years. I select the rotate option and rotate them basically. Yeah. Oops, that's too much. Control Z, undo it. There you go. Render it. There you go. We have the style here and our tile is ready uh, obviously because I'm not gonna work uh, more on it because it's an extra it's just a it's just mm, a simple and a standard tutorial for a creating tiles but because we're gonna uh, need bigger and a wider uh, floor in our next for our next tutorial to add text on it and work with text so we can make copies of it but you know um, just select the plane and in top view hold your shift key drag with your mouse make sure you do the car instance and again select the plane hold your shift key drag them then you reside okay plane again drag them okay now we have a much wider plane a much wider floor that we wanted for our next um, tutorial as you see apply to it there you go ladies and gentlemen we have a very basic computerized tile floor and I'll see you in next uh, tutorial we will work on text uh, so my name is Ali again. Thank you very much for your watching and it's a pleasure to be on YouTube. Thank you very much. Bye